About three days ago, my wife told me that she wanted to go somewhere. I didn't want her to go. At the same time, I didn't want to control her life. So I was like, okay, yeah. Trying to cool my anger about this situation, she came to me in the kitchen and asked, is there money in this ATM card? My response to that question was a statement I'm too embarrassed to share in public. I regretted that moment and I had to apologize to her after I got my head back. If you're a Bible student, then you'll believe that words are powerful. In fact, God made the world with words. Now, you don't even have to believe in the Bible of God. If you believe in science, that's enough. According to the National Science Foundation, an average person has about 12,000 to 60,000 thoughts per day. Of those, 80% are negative and 95% are repetitive thoughts. Still wondering why life is messy for most people? Well, we wake up every day and spend the entire day unconsciously killing ourselves. With 80% negative thoughts and those being repeated every day of our lives, how can we ever succeed? Many research studies have shown optimism as a real impact on the ultimate success or failure in life. Those who are more optimistic can see into a brighter future, meaning they are more resilient in the face of day-to-day -day struggles. Now, as we approach a new year, I want to share with you three sentences or statements you should stop saying to yourself. 1. All opportunities are taken. When I was growing up in a Nigerian village, I observed that most people seem to hate whoever is wealthy. I didn't understand why until later in life when I noticed that people tend to believe that the rich have taken all the opportunities in the world and therefore nothing is left for them. Okay, wait, let me tell you something blunt. Opportunities are like rivers. You can take some water from the river, but you hardly can take all the water. Let me explain this with some example. Opportunity escapes from the old to the young. Let me explain this with some examples. When Mark Zuckerberg was dreaming of a world where everyone is connected, according to him, he thought that giants like Google or Yahoo could only build such platforms. But none of those guys in these giant companies could see a perfect picture the way Mark saw it. Most people see Elon Musk as a giant billionaire today. But he didn't have that brand until he dared Tesla and SpaceX. The question here is, why didn't Toyota, Benz or other automobile giants be the king of electric cars? Well, they are too old to see those opportunities. You see, the whole point I'm making here is that opportunities can never be caged by certain persons no matter how rich or big they are. By its very nature, opportunities often escape the olds and go to the youngs. If you are one of those who think you are poor because every opportunity has been taken, well, you are probably poor to say that to yourself every day. As we start a new year, stop believing that opportunity is nowhere. Stop saying you are screwed. Start preparing yourself for an opportunity. Start being optimistic that you can find a loophole in the market that will make you rich. 2. Yesterday was better. There are several versions of this statement. Some people say, Millennials are screwed or things used to be cheap. A friend of mine complained to me several months ago that he is poor because there were fewer opportunities in the world today, unlike his grandfather's time. Well, most people who think this way don't know what they are talking about. I built my first successful company in the year 2016 and within a year we were making money in about 21 states of my country, Nigeria and other four countries of the world. I was living in a very small town yet my company made money from many countries. Who do you think could have done that just 50 years ago? Do you think such a thing was possible 100 years ago? Look at this channel, we started it for free and today our audiences are from about 100 countries of the world. Some of you watching this video are from America, India, South Africa and while I sit down one Saturday morning in my Lagos office to write the scripts for this video. Was that possible for an ordinary person just 30 years ago? How then can people be deceived to believe that things are more difficult? Today is worse than yesterday or that our fathers had it better? As we enter a new year, stop believing such silly things. Now is the best time any human can ever live in. It's 10 times easier to make money, become a success or be happy now than at any point in entire human history. You're not screwed. Your father or grandfather didn't have it better you're lucky to be alive today if you are curious enough to look for that luck. 3. The next president will solve my problems. 
In my country, Nigeria, the best time to be alive is in the election year. Everyone is excited. Everyone is happy. Everyone seems to be busy talking and hoping. I remember my father always running around for campaigns and telling us when he gets home, you see, if XYZ becomes the governor, he will provide jobs for my children and that's what I'm working for. No politician ever provided jobs for his children and none of his children had a better life because he was busy campaigning. As we start a new year, stop expecting that anyone will solve your money problem, not even the elected politicians. You see, life is too complex. It's like biblical salvation. Nobody can get it for you. Traditionally in Africa, your parents never push you out of the home. If you have some money and you need it at 33, they are willing to give it to you. However, as a guy of 21 or 22, I told my elder brother that I wanted to break away from my parents. I wanted to live my life without expecting any favors from them. I wanted to fight for my life and see whether I will win. Not just my parents, I never expected any favor from the government. See, political leaders don't solve personal problems. Stop hoping that the next president of your country will make your life better in any way. If you want it, it's up to you. This doesn't mean that you can't seek help partnerships or assistance from other people, but you can't possibly expect they must say yes to you. Here are the things I've discussed with you so far. 1. Stop saying that you're screwed or that every opportunity has been taken. If you prepare yourself, remain optimistic and search curiously, you'll find more opportunities in the world than you ever need. 2. Stop thinking that life was better for your father or grandparents. Such thoughts make you weak. Now is the best time to be alive. You're lucky to be here now. 3. Stop wishing, even secretly, that your money problems will disappear after the next election. Nobody will solve your problem and the good news is that you have what it takes to fight hard and win in the battle of life. My name is Steve Courage. I'm a Nigerian entrepreneur who lives in Lagos. If you wish to know more about me, see my ugly face or consume videos I specifically make for Africans check the description box and join my new channel where I show my face and teach Africans how to build successful businesses. I love you.